So after getting off work, I'll usually start my day one of two ways. I will either go to the gym or I will go on a hike. Uh, for today, I decided that I will be going on a hike. So I'm heading up to Colfax, which is like 45 minutes outside of Sacramento. But I'm a huge fan of the outdoors. I try to get out as often as I can. I usually go by myself, but that's not because I'm trying to find myself in the woods with some kind of peyote vision quest but rather it's just hard for me to find someone that can get a random weekday off. But if I do go with someone, I usually try to go with someone slower um, because if I do come across any predators, I will be running. And just for my own survival, I assume be with someone a little bit slower. But I have my podcast ready to rip. I'm gonna be listening to the Joe Rogan Show, just kind of wandering around the woods, zoning out, enjoying some of the outdoors. So now that I'm done getting in touch with nature, the next thing that I will do will be to go to the gym. And the gym serves two purposes for me. The first is the fitness side of things. So I'll go there, usually work out for about an hour. After that hour, I'll get my namaste on, do a little bit of yoga, stretch out. Uh, my diet and exercise are usually pretty dialed in, but I do love beer and I do love uh, gummy candies, um, especially like blue gummy sharks or uh, gummy worms, either regular or sour, doesn't really matter to me. Um, but I use the gym to kind of counteract all the bad stuff that I do to my body. Uh, the second purpose the gym serves for me is it's a bathroom and shower. And it's definitely the nicest bathroom and shower that I have available to me. One thing I have noticed with living out of my truck and using public restrooms is that the male gender is not very good at aiming. Um, and that not only applies to number one, but I've also seen it with number twos, which I'm assuming that's on purpose, but if it's not, I'm just more impressed than anything. Um, but yeah, so I'll go to the gym, get my workout in, shower up, get all nice and clean, and go from there. So now that I'm done with my gym session, I'm all pumped up, stretched out, showered off. So I feel like I'm pretty much ready to tackle the world. Uh, the next thing I'll usually do is go to a coffee shop. As far as my connectivity to the internet goes, it's a little limited because I've been rocking this bad boy. It is a flip phone. I've had it for about eight months. Um, it does have some pretty sweet features like it has a speaker phone. I can text from it. Um, it also has a calculator. So like any kind of long division or just really any mathematical type equations that I come across throughout the day, I can kind of just use this for it. Um, but I'll bring my laptop with me to the coffee shop so I can get connected to the internet, so I can get in touch with the outside world. I usually bring a book. I have some studying I need to do for work. Um, so yeah, pretty much bump some internet, get some caffeine while I'm at it. So with my 
project coffee house adventure complete. The next thing I have to do is take care of dinner. I usually cook most stuff up at work and then I'll keep it in a cooler in the back of my pickup truck. Um, my diet has like lots of uh, fruits and vegetables, lots of avocados, um, almonds. Honestly, as long as there's some kind of meat product on my plate, I'm usually pretty content. I'm also a big fan of these guys, little meat sticks. Which I kind of munch on throughout the day. Um, but for tonight, I will be barbecuing. I'm here at Safeway. I'm gonna go grab a piece of cow and then take it to a nearby park and barbecue her up. to park my car at night but uh, I found a pretty good little spot so I decided to park a little bit earlier here in a residential area not a lot of street lights got an old abandoned building over here uh, but anyway I will return here once it gets a little darker and hop on in the back I'll usually just kind of cruise around Sacramento still got the podcast ripping currently listening to hardcore history just trying to get some of that education while I stroll around here. So I got one last chance to get some meat treats. So I'm not sure how much of this you can see, but the current time is 10.09. Got my alarm clock set. Have everything done before I hop in the back of the beast. Um, if you cannot see, I am currently approaching the vehicle. When I get to the vehicle, I will scan in each direction to see if there's any uh, foot traffic or cars nearby. None that I see. Open this up. Hop in the back. And I am now currently in the hornet's nest. I'm gonna crack the window get some fresh air in here and that ladies and gentlemen is how it's done I'm gonna head to bed real quick hopefully not get interrupted in the middle of the night good morning I survived the night I was not detained by the police nor robbed so I'll chalk that up as a win um, I was actually able to sleep in an extra hour so I got up at about six first thing I do is I'll go to the finest coffee shop I could find get caffeinated and then use their bathroom but you have pretty much seen what a 24-hour period could look like for me as I've mentioned every day is different I don't know what to expect but thanks for taking the time to watch I'm off to work starting about an hour cheers <laughs>